Um, these are Pingai 2 beryllium or Biku or beryllium copper irons. And these are fantastic. They're also worth quite a bit of money. So there is a full set Ping I2 Black Dot Beryllium Copper Irons. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the wedge. Brilliant. These obviously are in bad condition. As you can see, let me grab one. It's got a bit of, um, well, it's filthy, dirty. Um, they're not the colour they should be. Obviously, these are copper, um, so they should be nice and shiny, and they're not. But anyway. We're going to see if we can clean them. That's the point of the video, but I'll get into that in a minute. Thanks. But then there was one little extra bonus. And this is what's only can be, well, well, what can only be described as a holy grail golf club. And I have never found one of these until I bought this set at £25. It's another Ping I2 Beryllium, but this is the Lob Wedge. Now, you can check on eBay yourselves. The last one of these that sold, sold for £165 plus postage. Um, so yeah, just for one old wedge that people would think is not worth anything, we're looking at around £160 to £180. But I'm trying to get as much as I possibly can for these golf clubs. So, what are we going to do? We're going to clean them. What are we going to use to clean them? A certain brand of cola. So I've done a bit of research and it turns out the best way to clean these golf gloves is by using this. Now I use this for every, for a lot of stuff. Drinking, obviously, it's amazing. Cooking ham in, it's incredible. Gammon even, gammon ham, you know, same thing. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to see if we can clean up these golf gloves. Let's see how they come out. Let's do this. So I've got a bowl. It's not a very big bowl. I don't want to cover the entire golf club with Coca-Cola. I only really want to cover the, 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 the head and the hosel. So I don't want the shaft particularly in um, the Coke. Now, some people have said that the shaft, it can damage it. I, I don't believe it will do that. So these are going to go in this bucket. I'm going to fill it with Coke up to the hosels, and then we're going to leave it for 24 hours. And we're going to see what happens now hopefully not breaking them in the process so yeah we're going to leave them for 24 hours in the coke to soak in um, i mean you can see the condition now look at them they're not brilliant are they don't get me wrong you'd still get good money for them but obviously we want to maximize everything that we can make for these because they are quality, they don't come around very often, especially that lob wedge. You just don't find them anymore. You don't find them in the normal King I 2s, so let alone in the Beryllium. So, let's have a go, shall we? Right, so I've tried to put them in the um, washing up bowl um, as evenly as I can. Um, and I'm literally, I've got my Coke Cola here, I'll just have a swig of it. Oh, it's good. It's good. And I'm literally going to pour it on the golf clubs. Now, as I said, I don't want to, I don't want to put too much in. I think I've got enough here. I've got a litre and a half. I think I've got another litre and a half um, as well. So I don't want to put too much in. Obviously, it froths up. You know what Coke's like or any soda pop. See how that settles down. I know what you're thinking, waste of coke, it's two pound. But if these come out how I think they're going to come out, trust me, it was worth it. That's the whole bowl. Now then, there's bits there that are uncovered. I'm gonna have to go and get the other bowl. There we go. That's Oh, look at that's how much I've got left. So just over two litres. 
Um, two litres would have been fine, but they didn't have any two litre bottles in my local supermarket, so I've had to do that. I mean, look at it bubbling away. Crazy. Now, I'm going to leave that in there, as I said, till tomorrow. And we're then going to take them out, and we're going to see if this does what it's supposed to do. Because from my research, this should work a treat. If not, I've just wasted £4 on Pepsi and potentially £500 of gold. We'll see. Right, okay, so it's, well, it's not quite been 24 hours. It's been about 20 hours. The golf clubs are still here, bathing in the coke. It's time to have a look. Let's see if this has worked. Uh, fingers crossed, because these are not cheap golf clubs. So let's let's take a look. Right, so I have not taken these out of the coke for approximately 20 hours. You can actually see through the coke that they're looking pretty good. So I'm gonna take these out now and actually have a look has this work? So here we go. I don't know. I've got to be safe from, from what we can see there, though. Oh my good lord. Look at them. Right, let's get this dried off and let's take a closer look. Well, well hold on. Let's just see if that was a fluke. <laughs> look at that. You see now why they're um, called beryllium copper? Because they actually have a copper finish. Oh my goodness, there's the lob wedge, look at that. There is still some dirt on it, but from what they were, goodness me. Let's take a closer look. Right, so I've just dried this one off, just with some um, paper towel. Just have a look, but you can see what an improvement that has made just by soaking it in it. Now, it's not perfect, I've got to say. There is still quite a lot of dirt in there. Some does come off. Just giving it a rub with this just to see if it comes off. It does, but there is still, there is still marks. And I think that's where the rusty bit was. So I'm gonna put that one back in. I think what I might do is just leave them soaking in there for, for a bit longer. And I've literally just pulled that out. You can see it's still a bit dirty in the in the um, cavity on the back. But if you give them a wipe over with the paper towel, you can see from that the dirt that's come off them. Just give them a good clean and a good rub with the paper towel, and a lot of it does come off. And you, look, the cavity is there's the issue, but let me give it a rub. I think if I used maybe a toothbrush or something to get in there properly, but you can see. Now I'm going to leave them to soak. I am actually going to put them back in the coke for a bit longer because I think they were so dirty. I mean, you can see that was just from rubbing the cavity, the, the muck that's come off them. So I'm going to leave them in there for a few more hours. I say, I think it was about half seven, eight o'clock last night that I did that I looked, and it's now just gone three. So um, that's 19 hours that they've been in there. So I'm going to leave them in until um, this evening, just to see if that has a bit more effect. But blimey, what a, what an amazing transformation so far we've got on them golf clubs. They look absolutely brilliant. They don't look perfect, don't get me wrong, but I think with a bit more of a soak and then a good clean, um, when I've got them out, I use a good um, stiff brush on them maybe or something and just see how they come up. So obviously, hold on a second. Um, it'll be a second for you, five hours for me, and we'll come back to the clubs and we'll take a look. Right, guys, it's the next morning. So I've left them in for another, what, 16, 17 hours since yesterday. Um... Terrible night's sleep, so I look awful, but apologies for that. But anyway, back to the golf clubs. I've moved into the kitchen. I've put them in the sink. I'm going to wash them now, wash the coke off, give them a scrub with a brush, and see what that does. OK, 
Okay, so the first one that I picked out was actually the lob wedge, the, uh, the expensive one on its own, and I think you can agree. The finish that I've now got on that is absolutely amazing. There is still some, some dirt just here and some in the cavity, but compared to what they were, that's now, instead of listing that, uh, what did I say, they could go for it to 160 odd, 170. Instead of listing that for about 130 because it was so dirty, I now can list that for 170. And I think I'll get it to be fair. So I'm going to scrub clean all the rest of them and then we'll see, take a look at all of them. There we go, finished item. <clears throat> so they've been bathed in coke for just over a day and then just cleaned off with hot water and a brush. There is still dirt on them. I'm wondering if I can just give them a polish maybe and make them come up really, really well. I might try that. I have still got the issue of some rust marks on the steel shafts. I need to look into that because I think you can sort that out with um, uh, tin foil, believe it or not, but um, the difference is is amazing. They they don't look perfect. Don't don't get me wrong, but then they're old golf clubs. They shouldn't look perfect. But the finish now is absolutely brilliant, and now they justify the money that I'll be asking for them. As I say, I might try. I'm going to do a bit more research. See if polishing them works. If that does work, I'll do another video on that. But as you can see. The difference by cleaning them in coca-cola it's absolutely amazing i recommend it guys if you've got ping i2 beryllium's and you want them to look better if not almost new if you spend the time cleaning them then do it so there we go didn't take any work at all literally let them soak and i've gone from having a set of golf clubs that i could probably have sold for 200 to 250 to a set of golf clubs i can now sell for 350 400 even up to 500 pounds including that lob wedge amazing 
What Coca-Cola does to them, I don't understand how it cleans it like that, um, but they've come up superb. Need to do a bit of research on the shafts, as I said, and see if I can get them clean. If I do, I'll do another video on that, um, and then we'll get them listed, we'll get them sold, and we'll make some money. Thanks for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.